There are many different methods that landowners can use to monitor how deer are impacting their forests. One of these methods is the ten tallest method. I'm going to show you how to set up plots and record data for this method today. First, let's go over some of the materials needed to complete the ten tallest plots. Materials include a clipboard, a permanent marker, a tape measure or yardstick, an 18 and a half foot string, flags, tags for the plants, and PVC pipes. Optional materials include a GPS and camera, but you can use the GPS and camera on your smartphone as well. For step one, you'll be selecting two to three species. It is recommended that you choose woody seedlings, but wildflowers may also work. Regardless, you want to choose species that are not only abundant on the property, but that are also relevant to a deer's diet. For seedlings, this may be white ash, sugar or red maple, or oak. While a few examples for wildflowers include sweet sicily, trillium, and Canada mayflower. For more information about species you can choose from, check out the Monitoring Deer Impact publication linked in the video description below. Our next step is to choose an area for our plot. For each species you've chosen, you'll find a different area with at least 10 individuals present. It's important when choosing your area to avoid forest edges and areas with high human activity. In step three, you will begin setting up the plot. To do so, you will pick a center point and then take a PVC pipe marked with the plot number and place it in the ground. Next, take your 18 and a half foot string and tie it to your center stake. Then, place a flag at the end of the string at each cardinal direction. Step four is to fill in the data sheet. To do so, return to the center of the plot and record the date, location, observers, and approximate number of individuals of the chosen species in the plot. If your focus species is categorized as herbaceous or shrub, you will also need to record the actual number of individuals in the plot. For step five, we will measure the 10 tallest individuals of our chosen species in the plot. Each tag should have the species name as well as the number that corresponds to the data sheet. For wildflowers, you need to put the tag on a stake, not the plant, as a new stem will emerge each year. For the woody seedling, you can place the tag right on the individual. To measure the plant, you want to start at the ground and measure to the tallest point on the plant. It's important when measuring the plant to remember not to extend it. After measuring your plant, you're going to look for browse. Deer browse usually appears shredded, while rabbits usually leave a clean cut. Once you have collected the browse and height measurements from each of the 10 tallest individuals in your plot, you're going to repeat the process for each of the other species you've selected. After completing all of the plots, you'll be leaving your center stakes and tags, as you will be revisiting the plots in the following years. Once your data has been collected, you can enter in the data to an Excel file. Woodland owners can use this data to see how the growth and browse rate of different plant species changes over time. This information is important to help woodland owners monitor deer habitat conditions and impacts in their forests. For more information about how to monitor deer impacts in your woodland, check out the Monitoring Deer Impacts publication in the video description below.